So should you bet on these stocks? Let's bring in Chad Bainan, Senior Analyst at Macquarie. Chad, great to see you today. I'm just going to go through your top picks here. MGM, DraftKings, Churchill Downs, Caesars, and Vici, which is the largest property owner on the Las Vegas Strip, uh, one of the gaming REITs, uh, and a big REIT at that. Talk a little bit about online gaming. We're heading towards the Super Bowl, which will be the biggest day of sports betting. Ohio has just come online. What could move the needle here for these gaming stocks? Sure. Thanks for having me, Contessa. So one of the things that we're trying to really highlight here, particularly related to DraftKings, a name that you know certainly suffered in the past two years after a huge run after it IPO'd, was <clears throat> we think we're going to see a few things in the market. One, this movement towards the single game parlays. So that comes from the technology that we're seeing with DraftKings, FanDuel, and some of the peers, where when you log on to bet on a game, you're actually more interested in the player props, what's happening during the game. And there's a number of these that will be driven by the technology. We think DraftKings is a leader in that. Uh, that will also help the hold rate, so the percentage that you as the consumer should theoretically lose to um, a, a company like DraftKings. The second thing is a reduction in external marketing. This is something that extre was extremely negative for companies like DraftKings in 2022 when they lost over $800 million. We think over time, this comes down. And, 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 then, uh, and the CEO, yeah. Jason Robbins, has said that he wants to dial back those marketing and promotional spends in the states where sports betting is more mature, like, like uh, New Jersey. Exactly. It's, this has been a difficult sector to analyze because what they've said is, it's year three when you start to see the stickiness from the early cohorts, a reduction in the promotions, and really that gross profit per player. We're now in year three. So this is the time where the rubber meets, a, meets the road. And we think this is the time where we're actually going to see upside surprises to estimates right. from companies like DraftKings and its peers. I, though I will say that one of the challenges for DraftKings is that its competitors are starting to show profitable months, profitable quarters, and, and that leaves them looking like they're maybe catching up. The stock, by the way, over the last 12 months, down almost 37 percent, though I'm seeing, you know, just over the last month to date, up 23 percent. So it has seen some growth. Let's talk about uh, Vegas. The packed calendar there certainly would impact Caesars and MGM, the two biggest operators on the strip. Sure. Uh, related to Vegas, one thing that we think the market is missing is that midweek occupancy. It's about 500 basis points off of where it was pre-pandemic. Uh, you pointed out kind of what will drive that? That's the conventions. You saw really good attendance with Consumer Electronics Show in January. We think we're going to continue to see that throughout the year. And then you obviously end with uh, F1 in November, where hotel room rates are three times what they regularly would be in that week. And then throughout the rest of the year, you have really good events and uh, in, in marketing that'll kind of help uh, compression nights where operators like MGM and Caesars will be able to raise rates. I can't let you go without asking about Macau. There's a lot of skeptics who point out that with COVID infections swirling around China, that you're not going to get that massive return that we've seen in Las Vegas. What do you anticipate? We think there will be a movement from VIP to premium mass, uh, just given the structure of, of VIP junkets changing the model. We want a little bit of exposure. That's one of the reasons why we like MGM, because they have a mix between Vegas, Macau, regionals, and, and digital. Um, Las Vegas Sands, we do have an outperform, uh, mainly because of Singapore, because of their market share in Macau. But we don't want to put all our eggs in the Macau basket. We like online sports betting, then Vegas, then Macau in that order. Got it. Chad, great to see you. Thanks. All righty.